In the new Halloween update, they added this fortune teller. Are, are you kidding me? They also added these new cosmetics. But more importantly, they added these new arcades, oh. which teleport you into this new area that teleport you into brand new biomes. And you might be wondering, how do I make my own? Huh? Well, today, I'm gonna show you how. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is go to mod.io. This will be in the link in the description and you wanna click get started in developers. Once you're here, you need to use any of these. I personally like to use Google. Log in with your Google account and this should just log you in on its own. Right here, you'll see a lot of games. You wanna to go to Gorilla Tag. And here you can see all of the levels that you already have on your Gorilla Tag account. This will be very important later. Next, you're gonna to have to download Unity. This link will also be linked in the description. All you have to do is download and then just install on your computer. Once you open it up, you wanna to go to installs. Keep Unity open, you'll need it later. For the setup process, you need to download the correct Unity version. It's gonna be 2022.3.2. To get this, you have to go to the Unity archives. This will be linked in the description also. You wanna to go to 2022, scroll down to the very bottom until you find 2022.3.2 and click install. You wanna click open with Unity and you wanna make sure that you have Android build support selected and then you click install. Now you wanna go to the GitHub page link in the description. This is where you're gonna download the Gorilla Tag template. You're gonna click code and download zip. Go to where you downloaded the zip. For me, it's my downloads. Right click it and extract all. Now change the name. Right click, click this little button delete everything except for g tag custom map now put a dash and whatever you want it to be mine is going to be g tag custom map tutorial now you want to rename it copy this double click on it so now you're inside the folder click on this rename it right click and paste now let's open up the project you click add go to where you downloaded it and click on what you named it click on it again until you see assets, export packages, plugins, and project settings. Now you wanna click open. This will take quite a while to load in. Okay, once it loads in, it may look like this. You just wanna to go to console and clear all these errors. And if there's nothing here, just right click this, create new scene, scene, and name it whatever your title was. For me, it was just tutorial, so I'm gonna name it tutorial. And you wanna double click on this. There still should be nothing here, you want to delete these two things go into the example map click save here is where you want to take things from i go into example map root i select the directional light and the lights i right click and say copy and i go back to my scene now i right click this which is the hierarchy and i click paste okay the first thing you want to do is right click and create an empty game object this will be your world root we want to set all of these to zero you want to add a component and you want to add a map descriptor. This is where we're going to put your map name. It's custom skybox. It should be sky example. It's just going to be the classic Gorilla Tag skybox. For light export, you want to put default unity. This will make your lights look good. Now you want to put these two lights inside your world root. Everything should be inside of this. For your map to work, you need to go into map prefabs. And you want to add your access door. Put this inside the world root. And if this looks familiar, it should. Because because in Gorilla Tag, this is where you spawn in. And this is where you select the map. And then this is where you walk out. You need this. As you build your scene, make sure nothing is inside of this. Or else we'll mess everything up. And this is how you set up your scene. Now you just build onto it. If you want to do more complex stuff, go into the link in the description. And this is where you can find everything. If you see, I have put everything inside my world root. Now let's bake li the lights. So you remember how in world root, we added default unity lighting? So with that, you have to make everything static. So it stays the same, except for the things that move. So this glider, it moves. So we don't want to make that static. So select everything. And yes, change children as well. Everything should be static, except for this leaf glider. We want to make that not static. Now you want to go world root, I don't want a skybox, and you want to click export map. Do it, make sure it's here, make it whatever your name, mine is just going to be, and now you save. This is going to take a while because it exports the lights. Okay, just finished, it should say successfully exported map. And then everything else loads in, and here it is. 
you want to keep this open do not close it out now go to this page with everything else on it and click add level put your name visibility i'm gonna make it hidden because i don't want other people playing this <laughs> but you might realize that you need a logo i just go to this take a picture I'm like that's good so select and then now you can go to create level that should bring you to the next page you don't need one so save it next now you want to click on select your zip file you want to go to where your other one was so right here it's here you want to click on it copy it we'll close it out now and you click on this and then you paste it open and then version 1.1.1 and you put that i read to the terms of service upload and then brings you to this one and then save and next now let's play our game now that you've uploaded it go to my content and then you should see yours and you go to manage you want to make sure this is public now you have to view level and click subscribe having it subscribe means it's now on your oculus account okay i'm in girl tag i'm just gonna go into a casual lobby walk over to the arcade go into the vr so you want to make sure that you log out and then it says please log into mod idea to proceed if you remember at the beginning of the video you created an account to link it you need to click link mod io account right here now, you want to go to this URL and enter this code, and it should log you in. So you go to mod.io slash connect, and then you need to enter the five-digit code that this says on Gorilla Tag. Now it says connection successfully. You are now logged in on your device, and then you click return home, and that's all you have to do on your computer. Okay, so now you have to press the terminal button. You're going to be like, where's my map? You need to show installed maps only, which is option. And there it is, tutorial, and then select. And here we are, why is the sky so blue? But we got our water that we added, our slippery, and our bouncy. Boing, boing. That's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you liked the tutorial and I hope it helped. If you have any questions, just comment it down below and I'll try to respond as quick as possible. I think that's it. So I hope you have an amazing day once again. And yeah, Jello out. Peace.